ওই পার্টগুলো ডিলিট করে দেবো আমি করে দেবো এরকম ওকে সো ইন দ্য রাউন্ড দ্য হেড দ্য ফার্স্ট মো মোস্ট প্রমিনেন্ট অর্গান দ্যাট ইউ সি হিয়ার অর ইয়ার আইজ রাইট ইউ সি দ্য আইজ সো আই দ্যাটস এ ভেরি ব্রড টার্ম অ্যাকচুয়ালি বিকজ the eye itself is made up of multiple different other parts look into each other sir don't you see a white area don't you see at the center of the point area a dark area at the extreme center though there is a dark area surrounding that extreme dark there is again an area which is somewhat blackish or brownish or for some people it can be even bluish so there are multiple parts in this eye and see eye is something which itself can move you are looking during the time of your exam so keep those sitting inside you so you need to move your eye right right so this is the movement that is performed in the eye this similar kind of movement is not available in this sense of organ that is here right not in the nose come to move that is for a different reason that is not for any sensation Come move for moving the foot across the different parts of the oral cavity. But the eye moves to sense objects from many different directions. And for that movement, though we cannot see from the outside, but inside this hollow in the skull, there is a hollow. There are two hollows there. Each of the hollows are known as orbit. and inside the orbit there is the eye ball then what we are seeing is from the front is only one sixth part of the eye ball one sixth part of eye ball that is what you see so that means what the major part of the eye ball is present inside that hollow orbit without we cannot see that part so attached to that major part of the eye ball are some muscles because without muscle there can be no motion whatever the living organisms are that can that can move every movement has some or the other muscles responsible behind it got it let me give you the idea by a side view side view means as per i am standing this way so you are viewing the eye from the side as if the skull is partly removed so as to expose the organ so that way the view will be something like this this is the ball you might laugh at my diagram so you have to freedom to laugh at my diagram because i know how well i can draw in fact during my actual online classes i didn't view much you are going through my videos of the online classes i have multiple videos on different topics of medical terminology in the in my in my channel you can go through that there you will find that usually i bring either originally dissected snapshots on my board on my soft board plus the online classes i use with soft board or i used to bring pictures drawn by other people i do not usually draw by myself But I am trying to just show you that from the side. So this will be the side, not the other one, but this side. So the front part, this will touch with the front. This is my front. So this is the anterior, and accordingly, this should obviously be the posterior. Now this posterior part is not that visible because, as I said, five six one six is visible at the front, and the major five six part. is not visible because it is within the orbit right attached to this ball are a set of muscles what i'm drawing out the muscles that are attached to this ball there are six muscles that can perform different movements that help you to see in both the directions or in upward direction or in downward direction or in even some angular directions right so these movements are because of the muscles that are present so apart from that the eye is also having other parts as for example the frontmost part 
body shape is more bulged out. Did you notice that? That this front part is as if more bulged out. Or a bushy fuller is if you're not knowing the meaning of the word bulge. It's both bulged out. But this part is known as if you write it up here, cornea. You have probably seen people donating their eyes. Now when, what we require of the eye is not this entire eye. It is only this cornea. Cornea is the transparent structure. So you can see the cornea. When you are looking into each other's eye, what at the center you are seeing, that is the cornea. Now, it might be black color totally, or it might be that you are seeing something in the periphery of a different color. But whatever color you see, the common feature is that you will see a kind of ring, a wide ring, having multiple spokes, mm. like the spokes of the wheel of your bicycle. Yes, yes sir. Right? So, that is not called me by the way. That is a layer called the iris that is present behind the cornea. The cornea is a transparent like this glass of this window. So behind the glass, whatever is present, you can see it is from this side, right? So there are flowers and the trees also this look to the glass we are seeing. Similarly, when you are seeing into each other's eye, you are seeing the structure that is present behind the transparent cornea. So it is present something like this. If this be an entire ring, if I section this ring, this will be the remaining part of this ring. I mean, if you write something like this, so this is the these are the spokes. Are you trying to get the concept? Yes, sir. Or a section ring. If the section ring are present, then this will be a complete whole circular ring. This is the appearance, right? Is the memory over? No, no, so, this what we cornea is only this layer. This bulged out swollen layer, this is the cornea. Behind the cornea, what we are seeing out here, this structure is known as iris. Right? Basically, this iris controls the amount of light that can enter into the eye. I mean, if you just go outside this glass and look into the bright sun, what would happen to your eyes? Right? So this reaction is generated by this pupil. The pupil, when the surrounding is highly illuminated, very strong lights are there in the surrounding, then what happens is the pupil narrows down. And as the pupil narrows down, the amount of light entering to the to this back side becomes less. And when in the dark, when the light is less, then this pupil widens. By the way, I was using the term pupil, right? Yes. But I have uh, yet said what the pupil is. The pupil is this hollow space. This is the pupil. That is at the center of eyes. And this invariably is dark in every human being. The surrounding may have the different colors, but the center is invariably the dark color. By the way, there is no structure in the center. It again is a hollow thing. So what you are seeing at the center are the structures present at the extreme behind. At the extreme behind, the entire inside of the eyeball is dark. Why it is dark? You have visited movie theaters before? So when the movie starts, what happens to the lights inside the theater? Doesn't it go off? No. And make the entire theater dark? Why is this because? To avoid scattering from multiple different directions. Because you might have noticed that soon after the movie finishes off, the lights are put on and at that moment the screen resolution becomes bit deteriorated. Why? Because of the light rays getting interfered. The lights from these different sources as well as the lights getting reflected 
back from the screen of the table. These two lights from getting interfered, the clarity of the screen is getting now poor. Yes, yes. Understood? So that's why this inside is always kept as dark. And in order to have this as dark, we are having a particular pigment present at the inside. The pigment is known as melanin. Yes. You might have the concept that melanin is present only in the skin. You might have the concept that melanin is present only in the screen and it accounts for the tone of the skin that we are having. But in reality, melanin is present in the eyes as well. In any areas of the body which is darker, which is relatively more dark, is having more amount of melanin concentration there. Clear? Now see, you might have a question, sir, why are you discussing the parts of the eye? Because each individual parts have each separate names. So these separate names might either occupy this column or this column. And after that only we can move on to the column for the prefixes for each individual name. Do you understand? Why yes, am I bound to discuss the anatomy? Yes. So this what I am discussing basically the structure. And in medical terminology, structure is studied by a branch of the science that is known as anatomy. Clear? So I have mentioned only few structures, but inside the eye there are even other structures. I have not mentioned one of the most vital structures that is lens. lens. There is even a structure called retina, there is even a structure called choroid, sclera. I will be discussing that in due course of time. Just I was trying to give you the idea that not only the words are important, but also the structures are equally important because without the presence of the structure, there is no question of having words. Words are there in place to describe this individual structure. So you need to have a knowledge of the structures as well. Otherwise, this becomes all irrelevant. Okay, let me have a look at the time. Pause the video.